Chris. Welcome back to the channel. Big days here. Out with the old and in with the new. Uh, as you saw in the previous video, we got the new drawers delivered, so I'm very, very excited. Uh, these are obviously my old drawers. You know, you go out, things break. I don't pretend to be anybody perfect, but I'm forever patching things up here and over the back. And, you know, some things aren't as stable as they, they could be. Is that wobbling a lot? Yeah, it's pretty buggered. But, you know, made from Bunnings, some tubular material from Bunnings. You cut it down, you get these little plastic joins, you put it together. Hey, it worked well for me. I know my limitations. Got four and a half, five years out of them. So I was pretty happy with what I got. So the new drifter drawers go in. So we'll whip these puppies out start all over again so the big rip out and install video today all right uh but it gets some work done eh all right guys got the old drawers out they fell apart basically it's a damn shame they did all right though over the years so yeah we got the drawers out uh this is obviously for an fj cruiser which is mine and they do recommend you run power separate power i wouldn't rely on these plug things here to power anything of any credence they're there but i've never used them so i've got two power supplies one's for the auxiliary battery and another 12 volt for my um, hf radio so i've got two running through there yeah there we go so yep that there's a plate that goes along there which has been removed so you can install the drawers over the other side here that's where the jack obviously goes i can actually put the jack in there and you know what what i found in here some toilet roll I must have put in there ages ago. God knows why, but it was in there. But yeah, so the jack's back in place where it's supposed to be. So yeah, next step is obviously to put the drawers in. So yeah, um, one thing I did do though is when I removed the, um, the bolts from here, they had a lot of dust and stuff in them. So I've cleaned the threads up so it'll be easier for the screws to go in there that uh, they supply with the drawers. So yeah, so that's all cleaned up, ready to go. And that's probably the last I'll see of that. <laughs> I broke this window here a few years ago. And you know how it is with broken windows? You're going to keep finding glass. Guess what? I thought I got it all out. There was two pieces still left in the car. So, yeah. Okay, so the next step would be, obviously, we'll pick up the drawers and pop them in. All right. See you then. All right, we've still got the drawers in. Something's wrong. You go, what, what went wrong? Nothing. Everything lined up. You'd think there'd be, you know, there'd be something wrong. Nope, everything lined up. So those holes there, I thought, no, nah, we're going to have trouble with them. Lined up first time, so pretty happy so far. So we're just going to pop these screws in here, pop them down, and we'll do the screws around the back. I'll show you those. But yeah, look at that. Woohoo! Look at that. In. Perfect. Tightened up. It's got to be something wrong. Nothing works this well, but it does. So they've gone in, so it's, it's so easy, it's ridiculous. Probably, I reckon, not more than an hour. In an hour, I reckon you'd be able to stretch to fit these in, these whole drawers. So yeah, if the back's in, we'll just put everything back together again and um, give you one final look, or maybe a bit of a demo of them in the back of the car, but yep, like a dream. Okay guys, so the drawers are in. Uh, to be quite honest, it was so simple, it was ridiculous. All you really need is a Phillips head screwdriver, and they're in. It was so simple, so easy to install. Uh, the ordering process, I ordered them online, and uh, I didn't have problems. So I dealt with uh, uh, Julie, which was their admin person for payments and things like that. Just paid her, I emailed them several times, told them what I wanted, and they made exactly what I wanted. I am so pleased with these drawers, it is ridiculous. Now, um, with the packing, it was fantastic. Now, it does come, when you get your packing, it's, it's all screwed in. And they support, hang on, where are they are? The little screws here. These little screws on the packing material is perfect for mounting things like, for example, uh, the travel buddy oven and a few other, and the fire extinguisher. They're just long enough. They don't protrude out the other side. And so it's great for mounting. So do keep these little screws. Where is it? There's my little screw. Keep your little screw there. So these are really handy to drill in. Mate, it was so easy, it was ridiculous. I should have bought them years ago. Um, 
once again, thanks to the guys at um, at uh, Drifter, uh, Luke, and the guys in the draw making facility. Well done, guys. I don't know who you are. I don't know who made my draws, but from my experience, it was awesome. And not just that, I finally got a, hang on, here we go. I'll zoom in, move over. I got a Drifty Stubby holder. So I am really, really pleased with these draws. They're just fantastic. So. Once again, thank you very much, Drifter. If you have any problems, they're really easy to deal with. An email, and they're, with, they're back to you within the day. Easy within the day. So yeah, once again, thank you very much. All right, I'll uh, see you on the next video. Um, I might even do a bit of a demo of the drawers and all the rest of it at a later stage, but as from today, I'm finished. I'm having a burping and Coke, as you do. Once again, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. That'd be awesome. All right, guys, uh, like, subscribe, and share. And uh, once again, thanks again for all the people at Drifter.